So we're gonna set the rings up. I like to set them up at a height where I'm getting a full dead hang and I can point the toes and not quite touch the ground. But remember, if you don't have something that high and it's not practical, just bend the knees and do the same thing. Uh, so from there, you've got a nice dead hang. If you find that your grip strength is kind of limiting, um, you can have the toes on the ground and just kind of walk the feet to the side. You're doing 30 seconds one side and then coming back to neutral in between each rep and then the other side. So as you're coming over like that, I'm going to use all the obliques, staying in the dead hand and coming down. So I'll do the left side first. Nice dead hand. 30 seconds and then go to the other side. It's good to get about kind of three clean reps in the 30 seconds. Breathing in, breathing out, hold it out in a dead hand. So you're getting nice oblique action from left to right. Obviously the higher you go up, if you want to make it a part, you can straddle and lift so you get a lot more glute kind of activation in it. Uh, there are other exercises during the week that hit that, but you know, if you enjoy that, it does work and you want to work on that a bit more. Then we've got the standing side flexion. So unlike the one that we're doing this month where you're kind of coming down, the head's the last and the first, this time the head is the first to go down. So I'm going down, but I'm looking straight ahead and coming up. So same deal, I'm going to go down, breathing in, and breathe out to neutral. You could use a, a band there to increase that tension, just like doing with the upper trap exercise, to create a bit more tension as you're coming down, you get a bit of a, more of a stretch and strengthening response. So from here, when I go down, the head's the first to go down and the last to come up, as opposed to the last to go down and the first to go up. So the opposite loading uh, a wave or whip through that chain on the side. So you're doing 30 each side in the hang, 30 each side in the stand, and then doing three sets of that for six minutes for core. So it's really important to get those six minute sets in to get that postural endurance in those muscles. That's what holds you together. And it's also important not to go too hard. If you're straining too much in these exercises, you're not gonna get that deeper recruitment. When you do the pull push legs and the gymnastic strength stuff, that's a time to push the heavier versions uh, to get that more kind of movement based training. Whereas this is postural based and trying to keep all the tissues together and bring that low level system up so it catches up and that way you have that nice overall strength and stability right through the chain. Enjoy it.